I have these specific memories from childhood of family vacations on Cape Cod. The vastness of the Outer Cape and National Seashore. How big it all could seem to a kid. Sometimes it's fun to try to paint places that are a little bit off the beaten path or maybe not the places that I, uh, I typically paint. Um, but sort of near them. Uh, behind the harbor is a great uh, example of that. Uh, Rock Harbor in Orleans is a place I've painted many times. Um, the reference for this particular painting was uh, from a little exploration um, in the roads up behind uh, Rock Harbor and around the back where the, where the marsh and the estuary sort of reach back to those places that are a little bit harder to get to. So from this vantage point, I really could flip around my focus to the nature and to the the, the wildlife and the and the um, the upper reaches of the marsh, and in turn keep Rock Harbor as an element of the painting, but a much more mysterious setback part of the painting, um, and hopefully that sort of interplay between nature and man-made objects is something that I think of. I tend to have often in my paintings, but which one dominates is 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 often changing. So um, this one flipped over to mostly nature, and um, it also has a little bit of element of sunlight that is uh, implied from a sun that is off the canvas, uh, and you can't see it except for its reflection in the water, which is towards the foreground in the front. So. Many different things in this painting were were um, real sort of exciting for me and a little bit of a challenge of moving into a, a different direction of how I, how I handle subject matter that is usually familiar but trying to put it into a, into a, into a different framework. Mm -hmm.